Hey, Julia. Ah, a few items. Yo. Uh, first, I've been filling out the roster for the Legends game, and one of the guys said he's one of your best friends. Who? Mario Gonzalez. <laughs> Mario. Yeah, I know him. Should we bring him into the mix? Yeah, I'd say invite him. He's not a bad guy. Then he's in. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun to beat him. So, apparently Ross wasn't completely honest about signing the Legends. They're out. Wait, but there's still a game, right? Of course there is. It's just a little different now. Well, who am I playing? Well, that's the thing. Jack fell for the scouts to care about this game. The other players needed to have something at stake. Okay. Everyone involved is a former NFL player hoping to get back on the league. So, younger and faster with something to prove. Jeez. Ready for some lighter news? <laughs> There's more. <laughs> hey, that trip cost us valuable time. An interesting offer came in today. Pat Kerwin would like to have you on his show. What'd you tell him? I wanted to talk to you first. I know they loved you going to the Middle East. Everyone did. I mean, the social media response was nuts. Yeah, I just wonder what they want to ask, though. Well, I can't say, but... This is as safe as it's going to be for you. If you're serious about being an NFL quarterback, we need to get you comfortable with the media. <sighs> this is a great chance for you to face your past head on for everyone to see. What do you say? Okay, let's do it. Great. I'll let him know. Devin? I love the show, and I gotta tell you, the last episode, when I found out you were a military guy, I was fired up for you. But it is not the traditional method of getting to the National Football League. So here's my first question, kid. How does a five-star college player quit and join the Army? You know, after everything that happened in UT, uh, me falling apart, um, you know, my dad had died. You know, as you can imagine, it was a, it was a very difficult time for me. You add to that the embarrassment of how I left UT, you know, in the media, you know, the media was all over me. You know, all I wanted to do was to, you know, go where no one knew my name and, and no one cared about football. I guess I, uh, guess I found my escape in the army. I didn't have some big heroic reason to go, nor am I a hero in any way. I, uh, I met a lot of heroes in my time in the Middle East. You know, it's a life choice, and you made it. And I have a lot of respect for you. But on the other side of the coin, if you had a chance to do it all over again, what would you do? Wow. If I could do it all over again. I would have talked about it. I mean, any of it. You know, but that's hindsight. Um, I made the mistake of not leaning on Colt or my teammates. You know, because in my mind, the only person that could help me get through it, my dad, was gone. Well, I got to tell you, Devin, that hits me pretty hard personally because my father coached me growing up, and I cherish those moments with my father. And I got to believe now that you're more mature, you're able to draw from those moments and make you a stronger person. And I also got to tell you this, when you think about Captain McCarthy, I got to believe he had a big hand in getting you from there to here. Absolutely. I mean, Captain, Captain McCarthy helped me find my love for football again. I mean, just simply throwing a football around. You know, no, no loud crowds, no, uh, no cameras, no critiques from the media. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, just simple, like playing in the front yard. Amazing stuff, but I didn't exactly hear a Ross Fountain shout out right there. <laughs> and you won't. I love it. Devin, it's time to talk to you about the Legends game. You're going to be on a football field with a bunch of NFL veterans. It's an environment you've never been in before. Yeah, true. You might be way over your head, but guess what? It's going to decide if you're drafted or not. I want your reaction and how you feel about the pressure of that game. Well, <laughs> they put together quite a cast for this thing. And I'd be lying to you if I didn't admit that I, was, I wasn't a little bit nervous. You know, I, I am. But, you know, that being said, I, 
I just have to play within myself and make sure I'm one of those 256 players drafted next weekend. Truth be told, I'll do whatever it takes. They tell me I gotta walk across a hotbed of coals wearing nothing but a football helmet, like, I'll do it. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> you know, next thing on my mind is this TV show. You know how you got here, Devin? You got here because you're a TV star. I, I have questions, and my question is this to you. Are you just a TV star, or are you really a football player? You know, the truth is I want to play pro football. You know, it's been a long road, but I, I caught a big break, you know, being invited to be on Long Shot. And if people want to people wanna hate on me for that, man, I guess that's what Twitter's for. Well, for Long Shot, you were competing against Mike Schmizniak. <laughs> Admit it, he came off like a pompous jerk, and you wanted to crush him. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure Mike's a good guy. Maybe he was just uh, having a bad set of days. Oh, come on, Devin. That's a political answer. You were winning me over until I started hearing that kind of stuff. Well, let's get you out of here with this. If you had the opportunity to pick any NFL team, which would you pick? <laughs> oh, I'll play for anybody. Oh, no. There you go again, Dev. How about we start here? What was your favorite team growing up? Oh, well, I can definitely answer that. I always loved the Patriots. Well, that wasn't very hard. Now you got yourself back on track. Devin, I can't thank you enough for being here. I wish you all the luck in the world. You've been a great guest today. But well, look, thank you guys for having me. I mean, I, I watch your show like every day. So I really appreciate it. Jim, I'm getting the feeling he's winning you over. Uh, you got it, Pat. That young man has won me over. I think he's gonna be fantastic in the league. I like his arm, I like his attitude. And we're clear. Oh, my that goodness. That was fabulous. Wow. Can you believe that? You did really well. Wow, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. Ready for the next one, huh? Yeah, let's do it. That's right. It's a long shot, long shot. Yeah, come on in. It's open. Hey, you got, you got a minute to talk? Yeah, man. Yes, I do. But uh, first, take a seat. Okay. I want you to listen to something. I want you to tell me what you think. Okay? All right. <clears throat> I mean, it's... Just listen. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Heading down the Midwest Highway Chasing down the end of Skyline Brothers in arms just headed to the Combine as the day turns into night Clock's ticking down and there's one more play One more pass and you're on your way This is where it gets good <clears throat> Hey, he's a long shot, it's a long shot <clears throat> Gonna be ready for some tonight Gotta be something for the big bright lights He's a long shot, he's a long shot yeah, some some gonna win the game, some Hall of Fame. I don't know, man. It's, it's, <laughs> that's all I got. <clears throat> what do you think? You wrote that? Yeah. I mean, for you, you know, for, I mean, for us, for, you know, the show. I don't know. I was gonna show it to Julia. You think she'll like it? It was amazing. Yeah? All right. I mean, you really think so? I mean, it's just a start, but. No. Well, how, how long have you been working on it? About 30 minutes. Jeez. Yeah. Wow, man. It was great. It's great. Cool. Cool. It's great. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, D, you, you want to ask me something? Nah. Nah, you, uh, you, you answered it. You answered it. Yes, I did. My man. Yes, I did, because I'm psychic. Because I know you better than you know yourself, D. <laughs> All right, you like it. Okay. That's good. That's good. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. I'm ready for something tonight. I'm ready for big bright lights. Win this game. I'm gonna go to the Hall of Fame. Yes, that's it. 
Charles, we've arrived at the moment long shot fans have all been waiting for. Yeah, Brandon, Devin Wade gets his shot to prove himself here tonight. And an interesting setup for this one. Wade's team, they'll only be playing one side of the football. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. He's going to lead his offense in a series of five different scenarios. And let's be clear, it's not just any offense against any defense. Devin certainly has a little help back there. Justin Forsett lining up in the backfield. And the same can be said for the defense. Former NFL player Larry English is out here trying to prove himself tonight in long shot. And no doubt that's what's got so many people tuning in right now. Let's go down to the field. Larry, it's good to see you again. But the question everybody wants to know is how does it feel to be out there again today? Man, great, great. I feel, you know, my body's healthier than I've been in a while. And, you know, really at this point, I just want to show people I can still play. Well, listen, this is your shot. This is your chance. This is your opportunity to redeem yourself. Everybody's waiting, and I know they're excited to see you back in uniform, as am I. Good luck out there today. Thank you. Man, I wish I had a jersey to put on. If you want these scouts to buy in, you got to leave it all out there on the field. You've come a long way. It's time to show off to the world. Let's go. Yes, sir, coach. Don't get in your head. Trust your arm, and you'll ace this. All set. Let's run! So, Charles, what are Devin and the guys facing on the first challenge? Well, when we're calling a normal game, we call this four-minute offense. They call this first challenge, put the game away. He's going to start at his 20-yard line with four minutes left on the clock. All right, boys, here we go. All right, come on, eyes on me. Let's go out there and prove to the world that we belong. Well, we definitely belong. I mean, I was all conference at UT, and I know I haven't played it down in the NFL, but uh, we're standing next to a bunch of dudes who have. No, I, I know we do. All right, we just need to prove it to the scouts and to the people back home. Oh, man, I can't wait till one of these dudes comes to me. I'm going to show these guys just how fast a cruise missile really is. <laughs> all right, good. All right, look, these guys have never played together like we have, all right? We've been lining up in this huddle since we were seven years old. Yeah, it feels like old times, doesn't oh, it? you got that right. Man. What's happening, fellas? Y'all got room for one more? Yeah. Uh... <gasps> this is awesome. What? What are you doing here? It's my audition tape, man. I went from playing with Philip Rivers to sitting on my couch. <laughs> you ready to call it quits yet? Hey, I heard you know this long shot dude. Oh, yeah, I played with this jump back in high school, man. You know that guy that has everything and still whines about it? That's him. Yeah. And I had to work for everything in my life. I'll make some plays tonight. It might be my name to call next week instead of his. Yeah. Hey, you just stay out of my way, all right? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, big dog. Come on. All right, Devin, here's the play. Trips right, 34 blast. You got to drive down the field for four minutes without giving the ball back. Run out the clock, and you complete the challenge. Give it back to the other team. You fail. Be careful. They're going to be expecting you to run, so I'm going to mix in plenty of pass plays. We got trips right, 34 blasts. Okay, ready? Hey, long shot. You're gonna get hit today. So here we go. First play, first challenge. Devin and his teammates need to hold on to the ball for four minutes. And it's not going to be easy because you can't just run basic dive plays and expect to take those four minutes off the clock. You still have to run your offense and take care of the football. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Devin certainly has a little help back there. Justin Forsett lining up in the backfield. When you think about all-purpose players, guys who can do it all, protect the passer, run the football, catch out of the backfield, as well as have a ton of patience in his NFL career because it took him a long time before he became a starter, that's Justin Forsett, one of the fun ones. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Wade to throw. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First down in enemy territory on challenge number one. Single, 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 single. 
first and ten. Devin Wade back to pass. To cold on a slant. So they pick up the first and extend the drive. What do you think? What do you expect from the defensive side? Run blitzes, and then run blitzes, and then run blitzes, because they've got to create a play here that makes things negative for the offense and puts them behind the chains, as we like to say, and forces their hand. Now a play fake here on first down. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards on the play. In the red zone now, challenge number one, and the pressure mounting. On first down, this is for Seth. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Second down, Devin will throw it. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Devin handing to Justin for They get in for six, and that gets the job done, doesn't it? It sure does, and it gives them great momentum going into challenge number two. They could have just run out the clock, but instead they won the challenge in style. A nice job by Devin Wade on the first challenge, don't you think? Yeah, you know, he did just fine. He got rid of the nerves and showed that he could handle the pressure, but I do think it'll be interesting to see him handle what's coming up because there are a lot of challenges left. Now, here's where guys under center make their money, the two-minute drill. And that is challenging. But all-time greats like Dan Marino and Tom Brady, they've made their bones in moments like this. Let's see how Devin handles it. All right. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. All right, let's go gun. Trips right verticals. All right, let's get everybody deep. Let's get everybody deep. Hey, there better be some looks for me on this drive here, Dev. I mean, we have been waiting for this our whole lives, man. Yeah, don't worry. I got you, baby. Let's go. Well, get me, too. I'm the one people remember. Oh, well, they're going to remember the cruise missile. Trust me on that. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Ready? Right. The who? <laughs> Who's missile? All right, Devin, make smart decisions on this drive. Use the sideline. Conserve the clock. 80 yards to go. First and ten. Watch that clock. Not much time. First and ten. Devin Wade drops back. So that one falling incomplete brings up second down. But still not the worst thing that can happen to them on offense because that stops the clock. So they go back, they retool, second and ten. Got to get the ball downfield, but at least the clock didn't continue to run. Second and ten. Wade to throw it again. Finds Chad Johnson on the slant. A big play there. 45 yards. has it first and ten. Devin Wade in the shotgun. And that's a touchdown, and that wins the challenge. What a great job on that drive. I know it may look easy on TV, but it certainly was not. They had to drive all the way down the field and score. Really good execution there. Certainly a good job on passing the challenge, but maybe some little things that were a little off there. I think you're right on target with that. Some good, some bad. And the good was that he handled all the big things very, very well. So there are some little things that you see that he needs to clean up, but that's true of every young quarterback, and I expect that to improve over time. 
Yeah. All right, now let's go to Dan Marino. He's been part of Devin's long shot team. Dan, I'm curious, were you part of the group that set up these challenges? I was, and I look forward to this one the most. It will test every aspect of Devin's game. Devin will be backed up to the one-yard line and has to drive the team into field goal range with very little time left on the clock. And, Dan, I like that these are so difficult. It would be almost unfair to Devin if the show gave him a pass. Let's put him in these tough situations and see how he handles them. Exactly what we're thinking, Charles. You know, I didn't think I'd ever be back here. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Maybe for you, these people didn't exactly care for me too much when I left. It's in the past. Devin, wait! Get off the field! Or not. Come on, everybody! <laughs> wait, you suck! Wait, you suck! Wait, you suck! Okay, Devin, wait, this is beyond suck. difficult. Wait, you suck! I want you to focus on getting out of the wait, end zone and then start wait, working towards suck. field goal range. Good luck. All right, first and 10, first play of the drive, challenge three, and they need to get this thing in field goal range quickly. Backed up this deep, be careful. The team of legends, they may want to come after him with a blitz. That provides a little bit of breathing room. No, it's not 25 or 30 yards. It does give them some space. And did you see what I saw? I saw the legends team stacked up in the middle, expecting run. They took a little bit of guts there, but they made the right play call and threw it downfield. Devin will throw on second down. Over the middle, open is Thomas. So Charles, Devin Wade, everyone knows him through long shot. Maybe the, only the surface story. What is the backstory? Where'd he come from? Well, let's go back to Mathis High School. When he came out, he was the number one quarterback in the country. Five-star recruit, and, and I would say that if they could give a six-star, he would have had it. Had all the tools. If he had been a baseball player, he would have said he was a five-tool kid. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. First down, Wade. Over the middle to Chad Johnson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Fresh set of downs here. And Devin Wade will throw it again. Throwing left side, he's got Colt. Results in six. Touchdown. And I believe that Devin Wade thought to himself, let's not play for the field goal. Big time job by Devin Wade. So passing the challenge, obviously a good thing. More positives than negatives to take away, I think you would certainly say. I definitely do say that. More positives than negatives. Look, the foundation is there. All right. He's got to increase his overall confidence in his ability to play quarterback. He's got to do that part. We know that. But Jack Ford, he's kick-started the process, and this is just the next step in the evolution of Devin Wade. All right, look, this one's pretty simple. But there's something I want you to try on this challenge. What? Okay, I want you to prove to these scouts that you can play well without Colt. I want you to prove that you can do this on your own. How? Are you, are you going to take him out? No. Nope. I just want you to complete the challenge without throwing a pass to him. But why? What, what is that even going to prove? Well, Devin, you have relied on Colt your entire life, and it's time for you to show them that you can play well without him. Trust me, this is going to answer a lot of questions that these scouts have about you. Okay, yeah, and no, I'll just, uh, I'll get the other guys more involved. No problem. Hey, this is going to pay off. And I guarantee you, it is going to mean something next week. Right? You got it, Coach. Alright, alright, here we go. Alright, let's go single back, 324 rocket, X corner, Z drag. Yo, what's the catch? It seems pretty easy. The catch is, they want me to prove I can drive the ball down the field without Colt's help. What? Well, that's Bush League, man. Who made that decision? Look, man, hey, stop worrying about it. Let's just drive the ball down the field and score, all right? All right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Time right, 
Time to see if Devin and co. are ready to go for challenge number four, first and ten. We know that the object is for Devin Wade to move his team downfield without relying on his best friend. How can he maneuver the team without just going back to him on each and every play? I think that's exactly what the offense, exactly what Devin Wade needed on the first play of this challenge. Couldn't script it any better, could they? Great pickup. Now they're in good position to move the ball into the spot that they need, trying to get the points on the board. Throwing on first down. Wade. Over the middle, it's Thomas. Partner, I'm impressed by what's going on here with Devin Wade because, let's face it, he has all this pressure on him to get his team into the red zone and try and get the ball in the end zone. But he also had the added pressure of not throwing to his best friend, Colt Cruz. Yeah, that's got to be hard. You're essentially down a receiver. Yeah, you really are because, let's face it, in this situation, touchdown. Give him extra credit for not trying to target Colt and making sure that he got the job done the way he was directed. This isn't just about you. You're not the only one trying to get drafted here. Throw me a bone. Hey, I'm having a hard enough time keeping my own head above water with everything I have to remember. Give me a break. Flying Oregon Ducks uniforms for this challenge, too? Come on. Oh, man. D. Just calm down, okay? You spent the last six months getting over that night, and I know you have. Now you just have to show millions of people at home that you have to. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Let's go. So here we go, challenge number five, and the raindrops starting to fall. And this is a little eerie. I'm thinking it, I know you are, and I know most people are. This is becoming very reminiscent of that game against Oregon, his final game at UT. You're exactly right. Now that it's starting to come down, that inclement weather is going to either get into his head or he gets out of his head because that last pass he threw that actually counted this exact situation, this exact scenario, he's got to defeat that in order to win this challenge. One play here. Can Devin Wade finally put the demons to rest that have haunted him for the last four years? Let's just get out of the half. Keep it simple. If it's not there, don't force it. Good. Hey, yo, D, we need this. I can beat my guy D. Cold is not the play, man. I know, but if we don't show something here, we might be sitting. Come on, you wanted to dedicate this game to your dad. Let's do it for him. Let's go. I'll be open. No matter what happens, I'm proud of you both. You can't defend a perfect pass. Now, well, there's no such thing as always a safe bet. too excited. I expected you to know that that check down was a smart decision. Look, I know it's hard to resist throwing the Colt for the big play, but what we really needed there was a completion to keep the clock running. Now, you enjoy the moment, but remember, you can make a better decision there. Now, get back out there. Keep this drive going. Okay, Coach, uh, what are we running? Whatever you want. You earned it. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> See? Told you I had you back. I wasn't going to drop it this time. Now the attention shifts to the offense with a minute 30 on the clock. Let's see if they play it safe or come out aggressive. But this is a great opportunity for Wade to change history. If I'm him, 
I'm not playing it safe at all. I'm cutting it loose. First and ten, Wade, and Cook has it, left side. So when this game is over and long shot ends and the lights and cameras go back in their protective cases, what, what happens next? Well, that's when the scouts conclude their work because they've been evaluating them all the way through, and you and I have had a chance to spend some time with a few of them. They're going to bring back a report to their teams, and what's going to be a big thing for Devin is how that scout feels about him. Will they go and stand on the table in a meeting room and say, he's a guy we want? Or will they say, eh, we're not too sure about him? That's going to determine his status as he heads into the draft. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Devin drops back. Caught by Chad Johnson inside the 10. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And Devin will throw again. Pass to Cruz is caught for a touchdown. And what a moment for these two long shots. Three, two, one. Lift off, baby. <laughs> we did it, boy. <laughs> that was big time, man. I love you, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And Charles, if I'm hearing this correctly, and I think that I am, the Longhorn faithful in the crowd, they're now chanting Wade's name. And for Devin Wade to come back to this stadium, in front of these fans and win them over, you know it's something he's been dreaming about. What a special moment. Is that all right? You are way better than all right. You were so great. Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> Big D. Hi, ah, hey. We did it. We did it! <laughs> Come on, man. Just, just reach out. Give me a high five. Come on, man. Yes! I'm back in. Devin, you better get changed. I'm sure some people would like to talk to you. You put together a great show. I'm proud to be a part of it. Would have been a lost cause without you. You think you'll make it? In the NFL? Well, if he can complete passes like that against that competition, they gotta at least take a look. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let's ah, see what people are saying. Oh, man. That bad? No, not, not all of them. <laughs> uh, here, here's one from Yogi Roth. Uh, some teams are intrigued by hashtag long shot, hashtag Devin Wade. OK. <laughs> That's good, right? There you go, yeah. Good. You're your own hashtag, man. Come on. Oh, wait, there's, <laughs> there's more. But others say he's draft kryptonite. Comes with a circus a la Tim Tebow. What? No. Nah, Come on. Nah, it hurts. Speaking of hurting, Devin Wade ain't worth the hoopla. Play old men all day, but not ready for NFL. Old? Man, Scuba Steve needs to check himself, man. Yeah. You know what? Just let me, let me find another good one. Is it that hard? I got one. Wade made great choices time and again from V. Barry Sanders. What? <laughs> yeah, baby. Are you serious? <laughs> a legend. Oh, and, and this one's from at US Army. Great to see Devin Wade crush the legends on the long shot finale. Hashtag Army Strong. Wow, that's really cool they did that, man. <laughs> that's great. 
Wait till you hear this. From Draft Scout. I haven't finished my official full analysis yet, but early breakdown makes Devin Wade a fifth round prospect. How about that, baby? Let me check this. That's money in the bank. Hey, Chad, I don't think you're all gone, man. Uh, yeah, speaking of which, uh, I can call it Chad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Come with you, you mind putting your name on here? Selfie. Hey. <laughs> hey, Munch, I want to do that again. Yeah, I think you, your flash was off. Oh, no, it wasn't. I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, listen, no. Can you sign that for me? Yeah, you gotta give me a pin. I don't have a pin on it. Hey, man, you like ribs? What kind? Any? Mr. Senko? Is it o Ocho? Chad? Mr. Senko? I mean, you just called me a five. Mr. Johnson? Five. Yeah, yeah he just called me Senko. He just called me a five. Yeah, like, that's, hey, five. That's like that's a middle man. Oh, it's all to get... I'm sorry. Hey, Chad, I don't think you're all at all, man. Hey, Devin, this is Kirk Cousins. Love you on the show, but I have just one question. How could you not throw the Colt? Hey, Devin, this is your boy Josh Norman. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Hey, don't worry about them haters. But, hey, I am looking forward to you coming to the league so I can pick six your tail and ride Delta all the way home off your air and throw. <laughs> oh, man, some girl just wrote... I only watched Longshot for Colt. Why do they spend so much time on Devin? Hashtag not my long shot. <laughs> uh, come on, give me that, man. Uh -oh. Hey, man. That's your look. <laughs> oh, pretty cute. Man, let me shut that nonsense <laughs> down, man. Hey, man, I'm hungry. Why don't we get some grub? Come on. Oh, what else is new? Months is hungry. Hey, why you got to make fun of me? <laughs> man, eat, Colt. Oh, man. oh come man, on. Eat. Let's go. You're Let's ride. You're already overweight. <laughs> It's my thyroid, Ocho Cinco. Come on, man. You of all people should respect the thyroid. Hey, yo, coach. Hey, I'm fixing to head back to Mathis. Hey, uh, actually take a seat for a minute. Yeah? So the reaction from the media and the scouts is, has been pretty positive. But the problem is, is they aren't the people who make the ultimate decisions. Meaning what? Meaning that I've been talking with the GMs and the coaches across the league, and right now you're you're looking at a third or fourth string quarterback. Okay. The consensus of the coaches is that as a backup, you may not be worth the distraction the show brings. So all of this was pointless. Look, Devin. Nothing in this life is guaranteed, and if you're lucky, nobody hands you anything. You should be proud of what you accomplished here. And you're the only person that should say when it's over, right? Now, are you ready to give up? No. Good, because I'm not ready to give up on you either, right? The you know, truth is, <laughs> Coach, I do the whole thing all over again. Thanks for picking me up when I was down. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure, Devin. So you stay in touch and you let me know what's happening. You got it, Coach. I think when you get to the later rounds of the draft, you look for special stories, special kids. And I think this kid has it. Listen, I've been on a lot of USO tours. And I see the things that make these kids up. We talk about commitment, determination, courage. I think this kid has it. Get into a camp, give him a chance, because I think what you see is a special kid, a special skill set, and I think he'll embrace the opportunity. You got that? Oh, thanks, boy. Rich Eisen, along with Charles Davis. How you feeling, brother? Uh, I'm good. Fair on that soon. Today's the day. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we will. Where's Cole? Huh? All right. I got him. I mean, I had to go all the way into Austin, but I, I got him. Pretzels. No. No, hats. Two from each NFL team. You know, for when we get drafted. <laughs> oh. Hm. What a complete waste of money. 
Oh, so what's it gonna be, Dev? Huh? Are we gonna be cowboys, huh? Or maybe Seahawks? <laughs> Think I look pretty good in neon. <laughs> Dude, I will wear pink if that means we get drafted. I'll take the tag. Hey, 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 hands off. These are for draft picks only. <laughs> All right, get your popcorn ready. <laughs> popcorn? All right, yeah. let's do it. You want some? Yeah, man, I want All popcorn right. and I want pretzels now, too. Start with the bowl game against Nebraska. He was terrific. Then get into hey, the Dev, dude, when the coaches I hate to miss this man, but Jess is going to go nuts if I don't take the kids off her hands. Oh, yeah, no problem, man. All right, man, with the fifth round, you're around. Oh, thanks, brother. All right, brother. Hey, cool. I'll say it if nobody else will. Any team that hadn't picked you already is a dang fool. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. I'll tell you what. Four QBs went off in the first four rounds. All the top prospects are off the board. It's lining up perfectly. Welcome back to our draft coverage. Here's the last five. While we were gone, Howard Wilson became the latest member of the Cleveland Browns we saw. And uh, look who the Cleveland Browns, uh, uh, pardon me, the Detroit Lions just selected. How about that? Tredarius Johnson, the quarterback what? out of Kentucky. We I can't believe Tredarius Johnson got picked before D. He got kicked off long shot. All right, fellas, that's it. <sighs> Call me when you're drafted. I'm sure it'll work out just fine. Thanks, Coach. Bye, Coach. With only five picks left here in the fifth round in the NFL Draft of 2017, Devin Wade of long shot fame. Yes, that QB remains undrafted. I am hearing whispers, though, that he's likely to go late in the sixth round. And in a surprising twist, though, his best friend, Colt Cruz, a wide receiver, I'm hearing at least two teams are in need of wide receiver help, and they have him on their radar. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? <laughs> well, it hasn't happened yet, so... That's awesome! Awesome, guys! Seattle before the Los Angeles teams go back-to-back. We're also gonna have... Man, I really hope it's true. Oh, I know it is. We're both getting drafted. <laughs> well, guess what, guys? We're 24 picks into the sixth round. The New York Jets are on the clock. Hey. Huh. Twitter's saying you're gonna get taken right here. Oh, but wait, don't don't we hate this team? Not if they draft us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're on the air all day, live from Philadelphia and all points Told you. around the country and the globe. <laughs> Amazing. The Lotus Devin Wick. They still need an edge rusher, right? That's one of my things on my Uh yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, one moment. That's for you. Uh, um, uh, hello, uh, Colton Cruz speaking. Uh, um, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Who was it? The pick is I am so sorry. I never do this. May, may I have this one? Because there's a major connection here. Thank you. All right. Folks, this is great. With the 25th pick in the sixth round of the NFL draft, the New York Jets select the little guy that could, the Cruz Missile, Colt Cruz, wide receiver, University of Texas. Woo! He did it, man! You know, Devin, man, I, I don't know how this happened. I'm so sorry. He's quick like a Julian Edelman. I believe in this kid, you know. It's an intriguing conversation. Man, don't, don't apologize, man. You kidding me? It's great. Dude, congrats. He's right. There's nothing to be sorry about. This is... You sure? You kidding me? It's awesome. I'm in the NFL! All right, let's face it, guys. The selection of Colt Cruz was a bit of a surprise. Yeah. Okay, a little bit more than a bit of a surprise. But the NFL is always looking for intelligent receivers to deal with those <laughs> complex defenses. And as for Devin Wade, who we now know is the story going forward, there's two picks left for Colt Cruz's team in the seventh round. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that they think about reuniting those Longhorn teammates. What? Did you hear that, Dev? You and Colt on the same team again? What? <laughs> Crazy. It's gonna happen, just you watch, it will. Oh, 
baby boys in the NFL. <laughs> hey, congrats, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's huge. It's proud of you, man. Thanks, man. Do you feel the long shot experiment is a failure if Devin Wade doesn't get drafted? You know, I take issue with that question. There is no reason that a young man giving his all should ever be seen as a failure. I mean, look at Cole Cruz. Without long shot, maybe his name doesn't get called today. To answer the question that you should have asked, I have faith that Devin's going to be drafted. <laughs> Been a great three days here in Philadelphia, that is. It's not going to happen. It is going to happen. There's only six picks left. <laughs> See? I told you. Nice geese. Shoot. And with the 31st pick of the seventh round, the Seattle Seahawks select... Devin Wayne. Could they would have called. Wolverine Justice. Linebacker, oh. University of Michigan. Not like them, though, to it's okay. It's okay, baby. Like Still got one more pick left. All right, guys, we're down to the final pick of the 2017 NFL Draft. You know what that means. Sorry. Mr. Irrelevant. And this year's Mr. Irrelevant, the Seattle Seahawks have selected DeAndre Poole, defensive back, UCF. Are you kidding me? No. <sighs> That's why I told you boys not to get your hopes up. I sealed my fate when I walked off that field four years ago. No, Devin, don't say that. You know, I thought long shot or the combine would fool people. But I quit. Now I gotta pay the price. You did a lot, D. I'm just glad my dad's not here to see this crap. Devin. Look at me. We don't always get the win. But you play hard. You give it what you got to give. And I earned you the right to carry yourself like a woman. You hear me? Got a minute? Yeah, what's up? Look, I know you're upset, but you gotta realize this is Colt's moment too. Don't make it so he can't enjoy it. No, you're right. I'm gonna I'll go congr congratulate him. Yo, Dev! Hey, Dev. Yeah. It's for you. Uh, who is it? I did it. Just take it. my agent to make some calls for you. I've got some good news, my man. Two teams want to sign you. Not a lot of money, but you're going to get a shot there. The first team is the Patriots, and I know that's your favorite team, but I think you're going to want to hear the second. Who is it? It's the Jets, which is great. Your boy Colt's going there. Tell me what you're thinking, my man. We don't have a lot of time. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, I don't... With the first option, I think you've got an easier shot at the number three job. Maybe number two. The second, it's a dogfight, but Colt's there, so it'll be a coin flip. Let me know what you want to do. I'm gonna go with the Jets. Really? We're gonna be teammates? <laughs> cool, I'll let them know. All right, thanks, Dan. I appreciate it, man. We're gonna be on the same team. High school, college, now the NFL, man. I know, it's crazy, right? <laughs> Woo! Sounded like there was another option. What was it? 
was the Patriots. Really? Wow, man, that's your... Wow. Hey, better together, right? You know it. We did it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it big, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm gonna grab your hat. Tell the guys. Woo! All right. Watch out, world. You ain't ready for us. You ain't ready for us. Hey, Ma. Ma. <sighs> Devin Wade at the line for the final play of the game. Just walked in a mob. It's the biggest moment of your life. <laughs> Devin, tell us what you're feeling right now. Just trying to stay in the moment. Slow your roll. The guy is a late pick. He's got about a 10% chance of... Under everything, just another human being alone. Oh, I don't want to hurt. There's so much in this world to make me believe. Stay with me. You're all I see. I didn't hear me. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, I did it again. I'm so late, man. I, hey, I gotta run, but dinner tonight, okay? Yeah, you got and, it. And you're paying. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Moneybags. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> My keys. <sighs> See ya. All right, bud.
Thanks everyone for watching. If you like what you see, please like, share and subscribe.